Good morning, YouTube YTPC. Bright blue morning, very cold, minus seven degrees here. So the uh, shed of serenity here is warming up with my little heater and everything else. I've put several candles on to try and warm it up. And I've got myself covered on this nice blanket, which uh, if you do actually set yourself a shed up, make sure you've got plenty of warm things to make it comfortable. Well, this morning, just listening to some uh, Fazolari here, beautiful maestro Sandro, fantastic. Uh, this morning, I wanted to tell you about... Um, something I was uh, fascinated with one of my subscribers I was talking about lighters and he says well he always use, um, uses cedar spills to light his pipe I thought cedar spills? What, what are those? so of course I couldn't resist it now whoever that was do make a comment because you all credit to you I wouldn't have known really about them without you um, these are the ones he was talking about, uh, Commonwealth Cedar Spills, or this is one of the best known brands, um, and I'm going to leave some links below, and here's a, a little capture of that and what they look like. Well, uh, there are of course sticks of uh, cedar wood, quite thin, Spanish high quality A or AA grade cedar wood, which you use as lighting splinters. And they, they look like this. So he, I wrote to the company and said, can you sell me some? Let's turn this down a, a touch. Little quieter um, so I wrote to him and he, I said can you can you sell me some I pay pound you and he says that's all right I'll send you some samples you know why don't you try them out and I got a, a bundle of these shorter ones and a bundle of these of these very elegant longer ones here um, now, of course, they, they're well known to cigar smokers. I think cigar smokers are quite used to seeing these, and um, the long ones, I think, are particularly good for cigars. You light them, and you've got a long Lonsdale high-quality cigar, Cuban or Dominican, and you just light them and hold them about a centimeter away or two centimeters away and roast the tobacco at the end and, and and you're off and you get this lovely aroma of cedar smoke from the cedar wood they do my wife says they have a very slight um, scent just on the wood but the smoke definitely and the idea is of course you don't adulterate your tobacco so um, some people have said they don't like fuel Zippo lighters because they they taste it and uh, it spoils the first um, few puffs um, of of the cigar or of the pipe. So the idea is you're using a very pure natural flame here to to, to light your pipe or, or cigar up, and and you get a little touch of that cedar ethereal oil in the smoke which actually is maybe nice with with your um, cigar or your pipe tobacco well I thought I'd give them a try and um, my, my great thanks of course to um, Tom Person who, who sent me these thank you Tom very much um, obviously very very high quality ones now of course in the humidor you have 
cedar wood you know you've seen that before even in cigar boxes because it helps with the breathing of the water vapor and the moisture um, they're usually a bit thicker and a different quality than these ones so some people of course have used that to light their cigar or the roll of cedar around the cigar um, to start it off um, but of course the purpose of that cedar wood was about the humidity and these ones are if you like for the purpose of, of lighting so there is a difference so without any ado I'm going to have a go now for the first time and in fact I found two or three videos about cedar spills and Commonwealth cedar spills in YouTube. I will put them in the bucket below. You can have a look at them. Um, but I didn't see anyone using it for their pipe tobacco. I'm sure some of you out there have done that, but uh, there were no videos about it. Now I think um, I've had a couple of goes on the side, you know, to get used to it. Now I think for pipe lighting, shorter, wider cedar spills are better because uh, the cigar, of course, is long and you're holding it below the tip of the cigar to light it so it's very practical for that but with the pipe it's a bit more tricky because you're you're going to have to tilt the pipe slightly to the side and uh, watch that the ash from the spill doesn't actually fall into your pipe bowl it's a, just a different shape and, and structure versus a cigar so one has to be careful about that so I'm going to take one of these because I think those are probably for pipe lighting more practical and have a go I will use these as well because occasionally occasionally I like a cigar as well I've bought some lovely short Swiss cigars which I'm going to um, uh, I, I did show them briefly in a video so I'll talk a bit more about those in a, in a future video where I will use these to, to light so let's have a go Now, this is the inaugural flight of an EA Carry brand new pipe from Jolly Old England, which I showed you in my last video, 9mm. And um, I think these lighters are particularly suited to English blends the cedar if you're going to have a little bit of cedar aroma that would fit maybe more with a sort of sort of not not a sweet aromatic maybe um, an English blend so I have uh, still a bit of my Dunhill 1938 uh, baby's bottom that always conjures up thoughts to me Sorry, I was lost in thought. Uh, beautiful tobacco, and um, I actually op opened this quite a while ago, and I've sealed it, put a hydration stone in. But of course, over time, the seals get uh, less and less effective. So I realise I can't leave this forever. I'm going to have to smoke it uh, but I do like this one it's um, not such a fan of um, heavy Virginia English blends but uh, uh, it's definitely a very very good blend I know some some of you is one of your favorites so that's what I have in it so now always the thing here you, you, you want to have three three hands you know one because you so normally what you would have is probably a 
a lighter actually I've got a candle I can imagine you use these on special occasions when you're um, you know you've got guests or you're dressed up for dinner um, you know to, to add a bit of uh, ceremony and uh, style with lighting your cigars or, or your pipes so it's probably when I will be using these um, cedar spills as, or you invite friends around or something like that you know so you just need to get it going tap the ash off sometimes you can even just relight it so that will do for the char light if you probably get very good at this you probably can get it all going in one one light slow it down you do that speed it up you do that and definitely you pick up a little bit of that cedar aroma which is uh, cedar smoker aroma which is very pleasant I've forgotten actually I really quite do like this uh, baby's bottom one. <laughs> so it works I think in a, a little bit of practice of course and you probably get even better at it. Uh, of course the um, history is in the old days when you had carpenters in every village and town or uh, you know a, a woodworks of, of a kind they um, always had splinters everywhere and the old workers then let's go back to the day of clay pipes before even matches were around uh, so people had a tinder box and would would either light a little bit of uh, wood shavings in there or let's say the guys working at the forge, the blacksmith would just put one of these splinters in and light it and light, light this clay pipe and the word spills meaning you know things which were coming from the woodwork were used and of course cedar is the, the most beautiful wood to use for that because of the aroma and uh, also it burns with a very little ash so there's not much um, inorganics in, in the cedar, it burns to a very light ash and um, those oils of course uh, go into the air. Mm. I am enjoying this. And it is consistent with uh, what my um, preference is to roast. So if I can get away with it, I try to lightly get it going just to get it one or two spots. And if I can manage to slowly get my pipe going that way, I prefer it because it roasts the tobacco around it and you get lots of the flavor and you're, you're, you're not getting any harshness from from let's say the flame catching your tobacco and, and spoiling maybe the, the first part of your smoke on also it slows the process down a little bit I'm not always getting it right but I, that's what I try here if you see I try and get a spot going 
as near the middle as, as I can and then if you like uh, Briar Blues Mike once did a session and he, he showed the tempo just wisps of tobacco so if you're a learner have a look at some of those um, 101 courses but I like the one that uh, Mike and Briar Blues showed us because um, he's got the tempo down to a T has his pipe in just little wisps every I don't know maybe five seconds or ten seconds apart you know it's a way to do it and the flavor you pick up in your saliva is just beautiful anyway getting off topic so the uh, cedar spills from Commonwealth I think it's a, it's a lovely tabakiana accoutrement to have as an alternative for your cigars and pipes and certainly worth a try so uh, left the links down for the uh, main website and the shop and uh, if you're interested uh, give them a go it may be that your brick and mortar uh, shop has a few that you can try just to see um, what you think be interested how many of you actually use them already um, and certainly I'm sure those who smoke also cigars as well as pipes are quite familiar with them <laughs> well that's it for today I'm going to enjoy this pipe in my new EA Carey pipe this is not the magic mile version this is nine millimeter and there were very discounted actually because of course EA Carey sadly in the UK is shutting down I think the American um, website and is, is going on but I got this like 30% lower and if I'd have waited two more weeks I'd have got it 50% <laughs> off but there you go you know but actually it's a very attractive pipe I think with this octagonal bowl a very large capacity in the bowl and um, what did I pay for this it was I don't know 38 pounds or something like that it went down to 28 at one point and very attractive I think they say these are made in Germany I don't know who if that's Bowen making these I don't know there are a few others that make um, discount pipes in, in Germany aren't there but just working fine right now anyway before I go actually I wanted to show um, some close-ups uh, some people said well could we have a better look at that ring that's a calabash on the front of my ring but I did some close-up shots which you can see it more clearly and YTPC engraved on the inside here they are I think this is a great idea for a YTCP membership ring as it were you know a bit like one of those uh, elite societies or the masons or uh, an alumni club or something you say ah oh, I see your YTPC mm. and uh, Jack the Piper I'll put a link to his shop I'll put a link to his shop in the bucket and um, does a, a beautiful job it's really high quality silver it's hallmarked as they do in the UK which you know what you're getting and it's a nice chunk of silver you're getting for that money and beautifully made so get one and become a real YTPCer I hope you have a good start to the week everyone and uh, 
look after yourselves and try and keep safe until you get the jab in your arm you know it may take two or three months in some cases depending but uh, wish everyone good health and uh, enjoy your pipes cheers everyone bye bye